Hi, this is Tris Hussey, Editor-in-Chief at iPhoneHacks.com, and this is a quick little tutorial overview of editing your photos on your iPad. It's a follow-up of taking better photos with your iPhone, and I'm going to show you how to do them in iPhoto, which I think is probably the easiest and most fun uh, of the photo ed ed editing apps around there. Some other ones I recommend are ones like uh, Snapseed, and for really fun stuff I like Color Strokes. There are just tons of apps out there uh, for editing photos, but really iPhoto probably sets the standard. iPhoto is tied right into PhotoStream in your camera roll, so you just see them right here as albums and you can pick them out. And when you uh, want to jump in and edit your photo, you just tap one. Now, if you haven't been editing, this, the edit button that I just tapped will be off. You won't see the tools. So you just tap the edit button. Ta-da! There it is. So the first thing I do is I usually hit the auto enhance. Um, it's a great first step. You know, they get you to see it's like, okay, is working with this photo going to help really at all, or is it just going to be too grainy? And this one looks really good. The next thing is um, just tap crop. Not maybe because you want to crop anything, but it also will auto determine if you need to if it's a little askew. So this looks a little, iPhoto thinks it's a little askew, and I would agree. Tap that, and the mug is straightened out. So maybe the table was crooked, whatever, but I just like the aspect of this better. And of course you can just sort of click and you know, tap and drag for cropping. If you do it like that. And if you wanted to see how things look, up here in the corner is the button to see the difference. Next thing is the brightness and contrast. See, these are put in order of kind of the order you should do them. Now I'm going to bump up the contrast. You just press and hold. And I'm going to work on the brightness. I think I'm going to tone it down. There. It kind of gives me the mood that I want. Now on the colors, making this a little warmer bring out more yellows, and then I'm oversaturated. I like having my, my photos oversaturated. It means the colors are stronger than normal. If you turn it all the way down, that's desaturated. The colors are more muted, but I like them cranked up. If your photo has sort of a weird color cast, check the white balance. Right now this is auto white balance, but you can quickly tap that, you know, okay, this was in bright sun, or cloud, or flash, or shade, or incandescent bulb. You see it turns blue fluorescent. That's actually not too bad. It's close to what I was actually doing. This is for faces. It lets you pick a face and set the white balance that way. And this is the traditional custom. Here, pick something that's actually white and let you go from there. Very cool, very simple, very fast. And the last thing I do is I tap these effects brushes and almost all of them can be applied uh, as paint strokes, so you can do just a part of the image or all of the image. So in this case, I'm going to sharpen, hit my gear, I'm going to do low sharpening and sharpen the entire image. Now if I want to say, uh, here, let's open these up, say I want to lighten just a part of the image, tap lighten and then use my stylus and you can see that the image is lightening or I'm coloring. Okay. And then you can erase all those strokes and it goes back. The effects are very fun, and this is one thing where uh, I recommend hitting the, the iPhoto help. It's actually very helpful. It reminds me where uh, things are if you want to do a you know, a, you know the cool gradient. How does that work? Oh, okay, you know, here are the limitations of it. Uh, or if you want a worm gradient, how does that work? Oh, okay, you know, dark gradient, etc. You you get you get the feel, and the and the help are very helpful. And when you're done, tap the share button, and you can share to your camera roll, in iTunes, and email, and Flickr, and Twitter, and all those places, and it's wonderful. So this was kind of a quick overview of editing photos. So for you, for your photos, even if you're not using iPhoto, 
auto, try the autocorrect first. Then check crop, make sure it's not a skew. Then uh, adjust the brightness and contrast. Go with what you like, go with your eye, not what you know the computer says is perfect. Then check out the colors. You can saturate and desaturate and have lots of fun. And uh, then share it. So those are my photo editing tips for today. Hope you like them. Leave me some comments, what you'd like to know. Uh, and this has been Tris for iPhonehacks.com.